Hey YouTube, what is up? Ryan here from Terror Tech Entertainment, here to show you how to install the Portal Gun mod for Minecraft. So at the moment it is on Minecraft 1.2.5, but if this mod works for later versions, I will just change the number up in the title and down in the description. So whatever it says up above or down below is what this version will work for. So first off, what you want to do is download a few files. So first off, you want to go to this website, which is the forum page for the Portal Gun mod on Minecraft forums. And you just want to scroll to the bottom and download this right here. So once you got that, you want to download Minecraft Forge, which you can get from this website, which I'll have a link for all these down in the description. You want to click on the latest build and then you want to download this one, the Minecraft Forge client. So now that you're done with that, you want to get Mod Loader. So you come to this site, which is Rizugami's Mods, and then you just download Mod Loader, which you can download right here, and you will pretty much be done with downloading. So now what you want to do is get a brand new Minecraft folder. So you go into your name and then into library. If you don't have this because you're on Lion and you haven't gotten it back, I have a tutorial down in the description on how to get this back. So just double click that, go into application support, and find your Minecraft folder. So what you want to do is back up your texture packs and your saves, and then you're going to want to delete the entire Minecraft folder, which I have already done and then load back into Minecraft and it will download and give you a brand new folder then just drag in your texture packs and your save files and you should be good to go there so now what you want to do is go into your bin folder and then on this minecraft.jar file you're going to want to go open with the unarchiver which you can get in the app store so you want to do that, and then you get a Minecraft folder. So now what you want to do is delete the Minecraft.jar file, and then you want to go into get info on the Minecraft folder, and add the extension .jar, hit enter, and add. Okay, so now that you're done with that, you want to go into the Minecraft folder, and go to this folder called meta-inf. So you want to open that up and delete all the files inside. You want to keep the folder though. Make sure you have this folder but all the files are deleted. So now what you can do is start installing the mod. Or the mods, I should say. So I have them all right here in just an easy to access area which is really good to do and it makes everything a lot easier. So what you want to do is install Mod Loader first. So double click that. You'll see all these dot class files. All you want to do is copy those, paste them into your bin folder, hit apply to all, and replace. Alright, so now you're done with Mod Loader. So now once you get that done, you're going to want to open up your Minecraft, go log in, and then you're going to want to load up a world. I'm going to go ahead and load up a creative world here. And if you don't have sound, wait probably around one minute and you're, you'll you start getting sound again. It's just something that happens when you get a brand new Minecraft folder. So just jump in here, make sure everything's all running. And yeah. So then you want to quit. And so you have installed Mod Loader successfully. Now what you want to do is install Minecraft Forge. So this one is a little bit more compli complicated. So what you want to do is find all these folders and you're going to want to find the corresponding folders which there's only corresponding folders for the net folder and the Paul's code. So what you want to do is go into your minecraft.jar folder and then go to your net folder. Then you want to open that up, 
go into Minecraft and then the client go into net Minecraft client and copy both of these into here click apply to all and replace so now you have that part done then you want to go down to this one called Paul's code so you want to find the Paul's code in your minecraft.jar Paul's code wait Paul okay there it is so then what you want to do is go Paul's code sound codex and you're good right there and then go into the minecraft forge one go Paul's code sound codex and there's this one file here all you want to do is copy that and paste it over into here so then you want to go back into your minecraft.jar and back into the minecraft forge so now what you want to do is highlight everything and then you want to scroll up and deselect the text files by holding down command and clicking on them and the Paul's cool the Paul's code folder bleh, and then the net folder and get rid of these other dot text files so just make sure you find everything and just about okay so got everything then you want to copy all of those and paste them directly into the minecraft.jar so you want to replace all those and now you want to load up minecraft yet again just to see if you have everything installed correctly so as you can see down here you have all this new stuff and let's just jump into the world and as you can see everything's still working perfectly fine so yep now comes the easier part so you just want to quit out and then you want to go back into your normal minecraft folder and as you can see there's a lot more new folders here and there's this one new one called mods so now what you want to do is open up the portal gun mod folder and all you want to do is go into your mods and just copy the portal gun folder over into your mods and you should be good so let's open up minecraft and see if everything's running correctly All right. Alright, so let's scroll down, and as you can see right here is all the portal gun stuff. So, that's pretty cool. And with this newest version of the portal gun mod, he has added a lot more things. So, it makes it more like portal, and people can create custom maps with this very easy now. So let's go ahead and just grab a radio here and throw that down. Yeah. So now the big part is the actual gun. So let's go ahead. And as you can see, it updates through it, and once you jump through, it teleports you. So like you can shoot it way off in the distance and then like right there as you can see you can see through it way out there and there we go so now you got the portal gun mod all installed so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and also if you want to see another mod tutorial by me, just leave the mod down in the description and I will get to it as quickly as I can. And thanks. Also, check out our other stuff and please be sure to subscribe for more stuff coming out later. Alright, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.